I have family in Gaza, extended family, who I'm desperately worried about. I'm desperately worried about everyone on the ground there and what they're going through. And there has been an outpouring, justifiably, uh, for those Israeli citizens who have been taken hostage, for the Israeli community and the Jewish community here in the UK. And I think it's also equally important to show the depth of humanity for all those affected. So I'm here today at this vigil. We're focused on the children who have died. We're going to be writing the names of one of the children on our hands to mark our respects for not just the children, but everyone who is an innocent civilian who has died in this conflict. My party, the Liberal Democrats, are calling now for a humanitarian ceasefire. The killing needs to stop, the political dialogue needs to start happening. This isn't a war, it's not the Israel-Palestinian conflict. This is a war against humanity. Nothing less. And it can't be that tomorrow everybody will turn around and say, okay, we reported it and we'll carry on. If you turn the other cheek this time, it'll haunt you back in the future. Israel is fighting the war of the West. Nothing more and nothing less. We had the tickets booked, a hotel shows. When I look at the lists and I see the names, I know many of them. Uh, some were my teachers, some are my friends' parents. So we've all been affected and the numbers are just so painful. So uh, besides for, um, for the effort to release my family, I won't stop until all hostages are back. So I immediately realized